Hey, hey, hello there, everybody. How you doing? This, this is my first video. Uh, it was gonna be a real video, but I was, I was a bad, bad boy for Christmas. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Adam Sellout. He's a content creator who's been at it for a while. Built up pre pretty big following with a few billion subscribers. Now Adam's channel might seem to be run of the mill, fake ass prank channel, social experiment, YouTube cancer. You see, he's more like a religion exploiting, race baiting, fake ass prank channel, social experiment, YouTube cancer. But you you don't want silly old me to tell you that. Now nah, let's see let's see for ourselves. We're gonna have the sign that says "Meet a Muslim person," and we're gonna hold it, and we're gonna see like how they react to us, and people react. And we're gonna see how they feel about us. You know, we're gonna spread love and um and happiness and unity and, and um, heart. Scratch that off my fucking list. Scratch that off my fucking list. So uh, yeah, we got an example of Adam's earlier work here, and for some reason, he and his friends thought it'd be cool to make a video where they pose awkwardly on the sidewalk with a sign that says meet a Muslim and have people take pictures of them like they're exotic animals at a zoo. It's mostly happy fun times with a project meet a Muslim but the interesting part comes towards the end of the video. I actually killed them when I was in the army. Excuse me, what'd you say? What'd you say? Say it again? Fuck you, huh? that's what I said. What'd you say? You heard me. You racist prick? Yeah, that's right. What'd you say? Huh? I said I killed him when I was in the army. You killed him in the army, you yeah. racist prick? Now, I'm not sure about the validity of this video. Hell, this one feels far less contrived than his later ones. Well, let's give old Adam the benefit of the doubt. So, yeah, dude was an asshole. Regardless, notice how even though race wasn't really the focus of this douchebag's vitriol, he's instantly a racist, according to Sellout and Crew. But we'll get back to the name calling in a bit. Let's talk about how dishonest he is with his own religion. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Adam Saleh. And today I'm going to be doing Quran in public. I'm going to be going to random people and making them listen to Quran for the very first time without knowing that they have a camera on them. I'm going to ask them what do they think it is and how it makes them feel. So hopefully it turns out great. Can you listen to something for like 20 seconds and just tell me who do you think it is and what do you think it is and how does it make you feel? That's the weekend, right? Nah, it's not the weekend. It's not? Nah. That's the weekend doing that capella, right? Nah, that's not capella. Nah. Something way different than the weekend. Right? When you listen to it, how did it make you feel? Good. It sounds like weekend. So, in this lovely bit of exploitation, Adam plays a track of the Quran being sung to people. And they probably don't know a word of Arabic, but hey, sure sounds pretty, right? So Islam must be good by association, right? Look, just to be clear, I've got some qualms about religion and ideology. That's a video for another day. You might have guessed that I have a problem with Islam in particular. And that's another video for another day. But if that's your religion, that's fine. It's a free country. you got a constitution for that. It's fine. Shit wherever you want to, man. It's great. It's fine. It's totally fine. However, when you start using your religion to exploit people for views and show it in a dishonest light to dress it up, then you might as well be an unflushed toilet. Only stupid people look at a movie trailer and automatically know whether or not it's going to be a five-star film. Unless it's the new Ghostbusters. Safe bet there. Okay, up next is a response video to controversial YouTuber Amos Yee, who in his own special autistic way is trying to refute Islam. And what did Adam Sellout title this video? most racist YouTuber disrespects Quran. Wow, certainly not pulling any punches with the clickbait there, huh, Adam? Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam, Who? I don't know why I'm acting like Rick Ross. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, do me gang. I hope you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. What's up, Adumi gang? So I just got home. There's about 30 minutes left for iftar, so I decided to do something a little different today. I'm gonna react to a video because a lot of people have been DMing me and showing me this video where like this racist guy is saying something about, I don't know, it's something like, I haven't watched it yet. Let's see this video. So right out of the gate, Sellout admits he hasn't even seen the video, but hey, he knows he's got a racist on his hands. Must be a racist. Islam teaches good morals, sexism, 
But those wives from whom you fear arrogance, first advise them, then if they persist, forsake them in bed and find... Hold up. What is this freaking ratchet boy with a weave saying? Like, he just translated the, the, the most BS tra of, of the Quran. He just translated the Quran in his way. He said, if you think your wife is arrogant, beat and rape them. In Islam, anyone who rapes anyone would get stoned to death. That is not allowed in Islam. Raping anyone is not allowed in Islam. So, Amos definitely misrepresented the verse here. I'm going to give this one to Adam. Forsake does not mean rape. But you, you got a chance to really capitalize this. And what do you say? Well, yeah, we stoned the rapist. Great point, Adam. Good one. Nice justice system. Slavery and rape. Oh, prophets. We have made lawful to thee thy wives to whom thou hast paid their dowers, and those slaves whom thy right hand possesses out of the prison. Alright, so this weird kid who's on something right now, basically what he's doing, he's taking out stuff from the Quran, and he's making it seem like, he's making it seem really bad by translating it into his own. It's like doing this, it's like someone having a story about me, and he takes out one line where it said, um, Adam killed this person and then imagine showing that person one line Adam killed that person But you didn't read the whole like the whole line the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He he used to free slaves. He used to help slaves. He used to eat with slaves So I don't know what to do to say we're all slaves with that line He said which is in the Quran saying having slaves is fine I'm gonna show you guys in the Quran the real way He doesn't even deserve to hold the Quran or for the Quran to be even that close to him But I'm gonna show you guys the line, which is, this is in the same surah of that line, so it connects with it. He just t He's just taking it out, trying to make it into a negative, because that's what ignorant people do. And it says, worship Allah and join none with him, and do good to parents, kinsfolk, orphans, the masakin, the neighbor who is near of kin, the neighbor who is a stranger, the companion by your side, the wayfarer, and those slaves whom your right hand passes. Are you listening, Agent Lion King? It says, do good, do good. And it has slaves in there, it has Masakin, the needy, and many, many more. So your point is not proven. Oh, I see, Adam. He was totally misrepresenting your holy book. See, see, we're supposed to be good to our slaves. Gotcha, them's goods rebuttals there, buddy. A trend keeps popping up the more I watch some of Adam's content. He seems to put a negative and sometimes false label on somebody to vilify them and then play up the drama in his overreaction for the views. Anything for them views, you know. Everybody's a racist. Keep clip, keep pet, keep smashing that motherfucking subscribe. Let's keep that in mind, shall we? There's plenty more hypocrisy and misrepresentation in this video, but this guy here debunks it much better than I could. I got all of these sources linked, so check out Amos's video and Adam's response for yourself. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'm just misjudging old Adam here. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe, just maybe. Hey guys, I'm Adam Saleh. So I wanted to do a social experiment. What's up, guys? Joey Salad here, and I was reading. What's up, guys? Joey Salad here, and I was reading. What's up, guys? Joey Salad here, and I was reading. What's up, guys? Joey Salad here, and I was reading a news article. Nope. Nope. All downhill from here. Downhill from here, baby. I need, I need a fucking drink. Yeah, so this is just another bit of cancer that this jackass provides. Social experiment videos. It's just so contrived and phony, and it's, it's just like, it's, it's like a set of double D's on a unicorn. You, you may be asking yourself while you're watching this, you know, all two of you. Okay, okay, I get it, man. It's cancer. What's your point, lard ass? Well, you see, our old buddy Adam Sellout got himself on the news with a new controversy regarding getting his ass kicked off a Delta Airlines flight. Why? Well, racism, of course. It was because he was speaking Arabic, according to him. You know, you know, one of the most spoken languages on the planet. I know, sounds legit, right? This BBC article reads, In a statement, Delta Airlines said that Mr. Salah and another customer had been removed because of disruptive and provocative behavior. Mr. Salah said, 
This lady screamed, oh, what is he saying? And she felt uncomfortable. I was so disgusted I took a video as I was being asked to leave. If you read the article all the way, you'll see that the BBC is also aware of Adam's BS. To be fair, overall there are some cases where Arab or Middle Eastern folks have been kicked from flights or questioned. And it could have been due to prejudice. But we're not looking at those cases. We're looking at Adam's. Speaking of which, let's look at the video. Please say this to Facebook and Twitter. Am, Guys, insane. we spoke a different language that's on the plane, insane. and now we're getting kicked out. That's insane. Now we're getting kicked out. Whoa, that's interesting. I did not know Delta was sprucing up their planes with plants. We're getting kicked out because we spoke a different language. Is it, is, this is 2016. Okay. Come on, it's 2015. This shouldn't be up for debate. 2016, look, Delta Airlines are kicking us out because we spoke a different language. Because we spoke a different language. Thank you so much. You guys are racist. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe it. Another video and yet another claim of racism. Move over, MLK. This guy experienced some real oppression. Seriously. Why is this a trend in your videos, Adam? Is everyone around you conveniently racist? By the way, hypothetically speaking, if this was real and Adam was, you know, in the right here, wouldn't this still be a bit of an overreaction? I mean, yeah, it's bullshit and I would be pissed too, but my first thought wouldn't be to film after the incident happened and put myself into a frenzy. Now, since this happened, Adam has uploaded a video on his vlog channel with his friend, and they're telling their side of the story. If we check out the like to dislike ratio, yeah, it's pretty polarizing. Hashtag boycott Delta. But I'm not going to give my in-depth analysis on this video. Let Philip DeFranco and the rest of them do that. What I want is for you to look at the point I've made, objectively look at his content, and see what other passengers on the flight had to say about it, and judge the video for yourself after you see it. As for me, I don't buy what Adam Sellout's selling. Stop with the race baiting, Adam. Stop with the uh, drama for views mentality, man. Just, just stop it, man. Jesus. I only have two, so are you gonna, ready? They me the other day because they asked me what I do and I said, I'm gonna bomb the shit out of them. You got bomb. 